It's Monday to you, my friend. Well, today, as many here in Chicago enjoy a day off for the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, we're also honoring Muhammad Ali for the first time statewide. Dr. Delara Saeed is the co-founder of the Illinois Muslim Civic Coalition, which is honoring the legacies of Dr. King and Muhammad Ali as two champions of justice. Good morning to you, Doctor. Nice to have you on. Good morning to you and our viewers, Sylvia and Terrence. Well, I, let's talk about these two men, religiously speaking, because they have, they're two American icons. They have very different narratives. Dr. King, the Baptist minister, Muhammad, minister that is, and Muhammad Ali, one of the world's most well-known Muslims, and yet, when it came to social justice, they were actually simpatico, more or less, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Can I just share that um, as a Chicago kid, for me and all Americans, the third Monday in January was a proud moment to honor Dr. King's dream, work, and ultimate sacrifice. Um, but today, I feel like I can float like a butterfly and sting like a bee because Illinois is the first state to make Muhammad Ali's birthday, January 17th, an annual commemorative holiday. And you're 100% right. Uh, they were not two uh, faith leaders that always saw the same way, but they were brothers in this work. Mm -hmm. um, when Martin Luther King Jr. was in jail uh, after the protest, Ali reached out to him and asked him how he's doing and told him to stay strong. And when Ali's title was stripped of him, MLK reached out to him and commended him for his strength and courage and conviction on the Vietnam War. So protest doesn't always have to look the same, but when we see injustice, we have to protest and that's how we come up with change. Mm. Dr. Ali was born in Kentucky, but I think it's safe to say Chicago was his second home. Let's talk about his, his connections here. Yeah, so Dr. Ali was regular, I'm sorry, Dr. King was regularly in Chicago, uh, whether it's to meet with his uh, colleagues. Um, we know Reverend Jesse Jackson, many others in Chicago also worked with him, whether it was to uh, share in the work of the protesters and the um, activists in Chicago. Chicago has a huge history of the great migration and the African American community that came here from the South in the 1920s. So uh, King was alive and well as part of a Chicagoan. And of course, uh, Muhammad Ali raised his, uh, you know, had his family here and spent many years on the south side of Chicago. Oh, yes. Okay, before we wrap this up, you're hosting a deliberate dialogue today. Tell us about the goal of this roundtable discussion. Yeah, uh, the Illinois Muslim Civic Coalition was uh, proud and humbled to be one of the sponsoring, the lead sponsoring organization for this resolution. So I have two things for you to do. One, order the commemorative poster. Uh, local Chicago artists, uh, Monica Rickard Bolter created this as two brothers in the work. And number two, join the deliberate dialogue with Mariam Ali, Muhammad Ali's daughter, Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton, and Reverend Jesse Jackson and others today, 1 to 2 p.m. virtually on Zoom or Facebook Live. You can register by going to www.ilmuslimciviccoalition.org www.ilmuslimciviccoalition.org. Order your poster, hang it proudly on your wall, and join us in the conversation. If you could, hold the poster up one more time for us. I think we were rolling video as you had it up the first time. Oh, oh that's yeah, beautiful. That. Great poster Very of nice. hope, courage, and conviction. Absolutely. Wow, you're such a great spokesperson for this, too, because it's history that needs to be remembered. Dr. Dalara Saeed, she's the co-founder of the Illinois Muslim Civic Coalition. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. A pleasure to talk to you on this MLK Day. Thank you. Have a great historic day. Yeah, you, too. you too. Take care. Still to come on Good Day Chicago, you've heard of a...